Half the time we see any of the Walking Dead survivors on screen, they're covered in post-apocalyptic filth and zombie sludge. So when their real-life counterparts clean themselves up and hit the interview circuit, they're especially stunning. They're even more unrecognizable in these adorable throwback pictures from their youth. Here's what the Walking Dead cast looked like as kids. Andrew Lincoln Andrew James Clutterbuck hails from London and showed an interest in acting in his early teens. He chose the stage name Andrew Lincoln after studying at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art and landing his first real gig in an episode of a UK sitcom called Drop the Dead Donkey. It would be almost a decade before he landed his second most widely seen role to date as the lovesick, sign-holding Mark in Love Actually. Since becoming Sheriff Rick Grimes for The Walking Dead, Lincoln has shunned all other roles. Chandler Riggs just seven when he first started packing heat to battle the walkers, Chan the Riggs is a natural within the realm of the undead. It's also a been there, done that situation for him, since his first role was in the short amateur film Jesus H. Zombie. The Walking Dead set was a homecoming for him, as he's a native of Atlanta, Georgia, where the show is filmed. Riggs is keeping the horror theme going, starring in Mercy in 2014, as well as the 2016 home invasion flick Keep Watching. Norman Reedus after moving to L.A. and working as a motorcycle mechanic, Norman Reedus was discovered at a party. It wasn't long before he landed a role in Guillermo del Toro's Mimic and the 1997 film Floating, launching his career. Before The Walking Dead, he was best known for his role as Murphy McManus in The Boondock Saints. Reedus' original audition was for the role of Merle Dixon, but had already gone to actor Michael Rooker. Show execs liked him so much they created Daryl Dixon for him, not knowing the character would become such a fan favorite. Melissa McBride In the early 90s, Melissa McBride landed her first role on an episode of Matlock. But she also worked behind the scenes as a casting director. You may also recognize her from her appearance as Dawson's slightly older lady in Dawson's Creek. McBride was chosen to star as Carol due to her relationship with the original showrunner Frank Darabont, who cast her in his adaptation of Stephen King's The Mist. Also in The Mist, Laurie Holden, who played The Walking Dead's Andrea, and Jeffrey DeMunn, who played Dale. Stephen Yeun Although he was born in Seoul, South Korea, Stephen Yeun and his family moved to Saskatchewan when he was a child. Uh, this is the core of William. I have brought a picture. What That's me. <laughs> Yeun studied psychology in college, and his parents hoped he'd pursue a career in medicine or law. And your parents w were not happy that you chose this profession? Uh, no, the, uh, my parents are, are Korean, and traditionally, uh, that first generation of Korean Americans aren't too happy with... Uh, the little curveball that you throw them. He had an interest in acting, though, and moved to Chicago to pursue his interest in improv, landing a gig with Second City before relocating to Los Angeles. Prior to Dead, he had a number of roles in shows like The Big Bang Theory and Law & Order LA. But his biggest break happened when he landed the part of Glenn Reed, which was only his second audition in LA. Lauren Cohan Although she was born in the U.S., Lauren Cohan's family relocated to the U.K. when she was a teenager, so that's why she still speaks with a distinct accent when she's out of character. After studying drama in college, she launched her career in the mid-2000s with films like Van Wilder 2 and Float. She gained more screen time as Bella in Supernatural and a brief, albeit memorable, stint on The Vampire Diaries before joining The Walking Dead as Maggie Green. Deny Guerrera Born in Iowa and raised in her family's native nation of Zimbabwe, Denai Guerrera participated heavily in her school's drama programs. She later studied psychology at Minnesota's McAllister College and achieved her MFA at NYU's prestigious Tisch School of the Arts. Guerrera became involved with the Broadway theater scene as well, and is still active in theater. Her harrowing play about the Liberian sex slave industry, titled Eclipse, was recognized by the 2016 Tony Awards. No stranger to action, Guerrera also won the role of Okoye, a royal guard in Marvel's Black Panther. Jeffrey Dean Morgan Seattle native Jeffrey Dean Morgan has made a name for himself in both TV and film, perhaps best recognized as ill-fated heartthrob Denny Duquette in Grey's Anatomy, and through his recurring roles in Supernatural, Magic City, and The Good Wife. The Walking Dead marks a maniacal new turn for Morgan's screen presence, as he'd previously been known to play a relatively nice guy in most of his major projects. Michael Cudlitz before he started rocking The Walking Dead show's most meme-friendly facial hair as Abraham Ford, Michael Cudlitz had a few memorable TV and movie moments on Beverly Hills 90210, Band of Brothers, and Southland. The latter earned him a Critics' Choice Award in 2013. Since taking on the role of the troubled but beloved Abe... When you were uh, pouring the Bisquick, you trying to make pancakes? Cudlitz has continued to work on the small screen, 
nabbing recurring guest roles in Ballers and House of Lies during his dead downtime. Josh McDermott. On The Walking Dead, Eugene Porter might be unintentionally funny, but in real life, Josh McDermott's entire career can be attributed to his humor. He got his start by calling into a local Phoenix radio show before making a very brief appearance on the comic competition show Last Comic Standing. He then moved into acting on the failed pilot for Rehab for Rejects and the quickly canceled sitcom Retired at 35 before making a two-episode appearance on AMC's Mad Men. Finally, McDermott landed the role of a lifetime as The Walking Dead's resident mullet. The smartest man I ever met happened to love my hair. He said my hair made me look like, and I quote, a fun guy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know which Walking Dead actor is your favorite.